Alrighty, good morning, guys. Ah, remember to do that right away. <laughs> How are we doing today? Uh, man, it took like a whole minute to load this save file. There must be a lot on here. <laughs> um, we're going to get into some more RimWorld today. Uh, as noted in the title, you know, now that we have this wonderful craft here, uh, we are going to be able to do a whole lot more. Uh, I'm excited. We may be able to do um, several bases a stream and not really have to worry about it too much. Uh, so yeah, uh, I haven't actually counted how many places there are, but I'm going to guess probably 40. Um, so, I mean, they don't replenish, so when you take one out, it's gone permanently, as far as I know. Um, but, yeah, maybe we'll be able to take over the world in the next month, perhaps? Uh, so it should be pretty cool. They shall all wave our flags, heck yeah. Um... But first, as per usual, let's go ahead and get our stream raider started up. Uh, and as you couldn't, or as you could tell, uh, I hadn't gotten around to putting that shaded background in yet. Uh, in real life month, uh, and, and that's just with the quick guess of forty bases left, and. Uh, Potentially doing 10 a day. I don't know how feasible that is. Uh, it's probably going to take more than a month. Because I don't see us really doing 10 a day. And... I mean, I guess on one of our breaks I can count how many are left. But... Um, I don't think there's a... There's a tracker for that. <clears throat> Moving towards that gold chest, uh, we can definitely do it. Save the Gurg, save the world. Nice. That's a reference to the show Heroes, if you're not familiar with it, it is a really cool show. Depends on D&D &D days as well, yeah, yeah that's very true. Because on, um, on some of those weekends, we flip-flop games on Sundays. Uh, so let's see what we got. Uh, everything's in this corner. <laughs> huh, that's interesting. Nothing is appearing later. So I guess we just start here. Uh, I need to get a Templar down to finish my quest. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, I only had like 26 minutes left at the start of the stream to complete that. Yeah, quite potentially. Hopefully, it works out. My Templar did some work last time, so... Hopefully, it'll do some work again. Uh, yeah, let me extend this a little bit. There we go. Alright. So if I recall last time, we just finished up a couple of raids or something. We're bringing our stocks back and kind of resting up. Dang. 
That's frustrating that it's taking so long. Okay. I think I noticed that with, um, with Michelle, too, where I've tried to help her out, and, like, she would get on, and then it would take a minute or so. It's up to you, Pi. Yeah, it could be. Alrighty. Well, steel's looking really good. Over 16,000. And that's without picking up this a little bit. So it's probably closer to 17. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, that's interesting. Oh. All right, Pi. Oh, that's a lot of plasteel. <laughs> a lot of training going on, it seems. Alright, building... Nothing's being constructed right now. What's this? All right. We're going to grab this to finish it. All right, good. Smart Omnibot. What game is City of Heroes? Oh. I'm surprised I don't play it more now, but it's an older MMO. Uh, it came out in 2004, and it went until... I want to say 2011, maybe 2012. Or maybe, maybe even after that. Anyway, um, man, it, it's, um, we did stream it a couple times a year or two ago, I think, but basically you make a hero or a villain and if you're a hero, you're, you're in a specific city that has multiple zones, and they're huge. Like, potentially a couple miles long. If you're a villain, villain, you're in a different city. You have missions you go through. So... No. <laughs> um, it got shut down back in... Like I said, 2012 or so, give or take. Um, but there are other ways to play. Um, it, it was awesome. It was really cool. Uh, you had archetypes. Um, you know, you, you had... For the hero heroes came out first. Villains came out a couple years later. For the heroes, you had things like Scrapper, which was like your your melee fighter. That its primary powers were damage, like attacking. Its secondary were defensive powers. But then you had tanks or tankers. Tankers, their primary were defensive powers. 
and their secondaries were attacks. So as you could tell, their defensive capabilities were higher than Scrapper's, but their attacking capabilities were lower than Scrapper's. Um, the, the game was known for having the biggest and best character creation engine, maybe even ever. Like, to this day, it might still be the best, because there were just so many options and combinations you could do. Well, when I streamed this a couple years ago, uh, we spent over an hour creating my character. Now, granted, I was doing a whole lot of explaining and showing off, like, what things did. Um, so, you know, that took longer. Wait, Tux? Tux, why did you take Luciferium? <laughs> it, it was, man. It was. Um, uh, I'll, I'll talk to you more about it in, uh, in Slack. Oh, well, he's a zombie, so he can wear the armor. Uh, but basically, yeah, you had blasters. Uh, blasters were like your glass cannons. Uh, their primary was ranged attacks, and their secondary was kind of like like utility stuff with some melee attacks. And you could actually build blasters to do more melee damage than scrappers. The catch is, blasters had way fewer hit points. Um, so you, you really didn't want to uh, melee too much with those guys. Uh, then you had controllers. Controllers, their primary abilities, obviously, were to control. They were crowd controllers. And they could also do damage with those controls. Um, you know, and they had different, you know, you had like fire controller, illusion controller, um, ice controller, uh, earth controller, gravity controller, um, m a mental controller. Uh, just really cool stuff, man. Um... And then their secondary was, like, buffing and debuffing abilities. Um, then you had defenders. Defenders were kind of like... Reverse blasters. Except their primaries were, um... Like, buffs, debuffs, healing. You know, so... So defender primaries were... Very similar to controller secondaries. But then defender secondaries were basically like blasts. So you were like a weaker blaster, essentially. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four. feel like I'm forgetting someone. A blaster, defender, controller, scrapper, tanker. No. I think there were just those five to start with. And then um, once you beat the game, or get to level 50, essentially, you could unlock like a special class, which is like this alien that can transform. And you had three different transformations you could use. I never got that far. So, I've never messed with them, but they were supposed to be kind of cool. Uh, perhaps. Perhaps.
Oh. Sounds like it was kind of a slightly boring class, I guess. Okay, well, we're getting research done. We are almost done with the Genesis. I'm really curious to see what this is like because I've not tested it yet. Uh, but given that it's the most advanced ship, <laughs> I'm really curious to see what it does. I think it's kind of expensive too. <laughs> Oh, wow. Well, that's cool, then. I mean, as long as the difficulty isn't a deterrent. I mean, it's a good thing when your class goes over and you don't realize it. Which, for me personally, that was rare. Oof. Not a lot of options here. Find out where the Luciferium is. So that dumb penguin <laughs> went all the way up here to get something to eat. Why would it eat Luciferium, man? <laughs> oh man, Mars attacks? Yeah, man, I haven't watched that in so many years. Um... Well, that's a good question. I rarely use that, because I don't really like that phrase, because of its confusion. Either or. I would say it's, it's an exclusion. I don't... Hmm. Oh, it's right next door. I would say they're mutually exclusive, but... I so rarely use the phrase myself. I don't know. Um, let's change this to, like, 2,500. There we go. 
Uh, you know what? I think we should be fine. Yeah. I wish I had a more definitive answer for you. Uh... I, I think it's just mainly used for, like, someone gives you two options, I suppose. Or, or gosh, yeah, see, I hardly use it. I, I don't. I think it's where it's like, someone asks you, you know, which would you prefer, or which which two can I take? And you don't care. So you're like, either or. But that's if I'm even using it correctly. I don't know. <laughs> I could be wrong. boy. We need some of these mortars for our base. That would be cool. Um... We could take a few things back, I guess. Yeah, just gold, plasteel, and advanced components. I'm not going to worry about destroying everything else. The base is considered destroyed. We'll just get this done quickly. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I would I would agree, Lawman. That's my take on it as well. Uh but you know, as with every rule in English in the English language, there's probably an exception. <laughs> so you know it I don't know. Up to your interpretation, I guess. Nice. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, do you want drink A or do you want drink B? Eh, either or. It's, it, it even sounds kind of weird, though, too. You know, it's one of those sayings that just... Like what we're doing now, when you really get down to it, it's like... What do you mean? Those words put together does not make sense. <clears throat> I 
Yeah, I've... There are... Whoa, what? Drug overdose? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, puppy. You're not supposed to drink mana potions. Well, whoever eats that dog meat's gonna have some weird flavoring to it. Uh, oh shoot, what's going on with this one? Alcohol blackout. Why are you animals taking drugs? Oh wow, so we got the Genesis done. But there may be some components we don't have for it. Interesting. <clears throat> so, in that situation... In that situation... I can see doing both as being fine, but that does go like past the context of what the person actually wants. They want either this or that, which means you could get either one, and no matter your choice, the person wanting the sandwich is going to be happy. However, you could go above and beyond and get both. And then they could save one for later. You know, if they're fine with that. So, in that particular instance, they are meaning one or the other. But they'll be happy with either choice that you make. Mayonnaise, so. Uh, I am Jack the Bandit. I think that's a better option. <laughs> oh, crap. These guys need to go. <laughs> Uh, let's take out some more of these mechs. Drop streams? Okay. Hmm. So I'll have to figure out how to do that for myself, right? Because I haven't uh, messed with that. <laughs> Understandable, Pi. Understandable. 
Hey, we got some free gold mined. <laughs> nice. Oh, take that. Boom. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, we could probably use some chem fuel. We're actually going to have to start paying attention to uranium. Because... That is what the Genesis takes. Uh, no advanced components, it looks like. Oh, hello. Okay, that's already our home area. See what happens when we load up and tell them to pick stuff up if they'll put the fire out right away. I skipped uranium in the last fight. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Fire! That's a good question, Pi. I, I've heard of it, uh, but I haven't messed with it. Oh. I guess it's time. Let's switch on over. There we go. Do we have a bunch of archers, perhaps? Bomber, uh, Barbarian, Tengu the Kenku. Nice. Kenku is a race in uh, D and D. Uh, they can't. Speak speak for themselves, but they can mimic language. So as long as they've heard of like words, they can they can mimic speech, but they can't actually speak for themselves. Now this is interesting. Should we curse? Maybe we should just curse instead of shooting quicker. Yeah, let's go ahead. Pi is going to come in with the balloon buster. Very nice. A lot of damage. <clears throat> Wait, what? Those were good guys? Pi! <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that? <laughs> okay, so you didn't know. <laughs> I thought you were being sarcastic at the at the start. Yeah, what the heck was that? <sighs> okay. All right, let's get this guy unlocked. War Beast. Oh, 
Wow. Reduces nearby enemy attack power by 40% and deals two times damage to monsters. Very nice. I don't know, man. Maybe it bugged out. Because we didn't see this guy. And these were even monsters as well? I don't know. Who knows? Alright, we'll move this way. Yeah, I kind of thought that might have been the case. Did we get someone for free? I'd like to try out this War Beast, but I think AoE is going to be a little bit more useful. Okay. Oh, nice. Tech print got installed. Oh, we need to go over here. Well, if you got a lot of experience, it didn't show. Hmm. Okay. Alright. I'm going to... Oh crap, can we not put out the fire? A lot of epic, epic guys going down. Thanks, guys. Uh, quick mind, go ahead and go ahead and put the fire out, maybe. Get out of here. <laughs> Dang, lots of epics going down. Very nice. Oh, it's paused.
Take that, tanks. <laughs> no, you took out something. I think. Base destroyed. Okay. Did I not make a home zone here? Oh, I don't think so. There we go. I'm pretty sure that's the case, Pi. As long as you're just there with it playing. There we go. Okay. Whew. That's close. <laughs> uh, no, Pi, I'm not. Although, when you guys brought it up, I thought about it, but I don't want to drain too many resources from my computer. Because RimWorld kind of pushes it already. I mean, I could turn turn the uh, quality all the way down, but just maybe not with this computer. All right, we're loaded up. Uh, you know, we can hit a few places on the way back. So let's do that. To bring wish. Oops. Sometimes the front page mutes, sometimes it doesn't.
Oh, I actually have drops enabled already. Yeah, and the drops for Stream Raiders is already active. Okay, well, that's good to know. Alright, let's hop in and see what's going on. Hmm. Sounds good, Pi. Enjoy your dinner. We'll just, uh, we'll keep conquering. They won't know what hit them. Watch out. Hey, <laughs> base destroyed. Let's see what they got. Okay, so I gotta tell you, I, I'm kind of giggling to myself because I saw this, and I was like, oh, it's a poor bow. And then I thought of the Queen song, where it's like, I'm just a poor boy, but I was like, I'm just a poor, bo poor bow, nobody wants me. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. That's how active my brain is. <laughs> Uh, we don't want any of this stuff. We don't want their poor bows. Um, actually, we'll take these, though. Drone assembly is done. Oh, so much, so much mineable steel. Okay. We'll hop next door. Oh, we'll visit, all right. Hydrate. Yes, I have a lot more water this time. Yeah, after the stream yesterday, I did fulfill Pope Mobile's two hydrates, and I let him know in uh, end stream. So, just in case you were w wondering, I didn't cheat him out of those two hydrates. Sugar cane? Ooh, lemon trees? 
Sonic. We might actually get this stuff real quick. I think we can use that stuff back at home. I know we have trees growing, but I don't think they're close enough yet. Why do you guys need treatment? Poisoned? Oh, meditating. Work. Okay. Now we can go. All right, gold. We want that. Chem fuel. We want that. Uh, mechanoid components. That. Uranium. We want that. We want that.
uh, components. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Okay. I'm gonna grab the ship and bring it towards the center so we can load up the, the food a little bit quicker. Five hundred sixteen lemons? Oh, we're gonna make lots of lemon food. Let's go! Lots of epic units being dropped. Jeez. I don't think we're going to worry about that work site. I think we're just going to head on home. Whoosh. Oh, that speed is so nice. Well, so today in the first hour, actually... Yeah, first hour, because my, my alarm's going off. We have taken out... three mech ships, and... what, three... human territories? That's not too shabby. Uh, so I'll, re I'll let this run on uh, slow... But we'll go ahead and take a real short break, guys. Shouldn't be too long. And I'll be right back. <laughs> 